variables. And the linear inequality in two variables, x and y, is of the form ax plus by, which is less than or equals to c. Or ay, ax plus by, less than c. Or ax plus by, greater than c. Or ax plus by, greater than or equals to c, where a, b, and c are constant. A solution to an inequality is any pair of number x and y that satisfies the inequality. And today we'll be today we'll be solving two examples on solution sets of inequalities of two variables. Where our first example is to determine the solution set of 5x plus 2y less than or equals to 17. 5x plus 2y less than or equals to 17. Now, the solution to this 5x plus 2y, which is less than 17, 5x plus 2y less than 17, is x is 2 and y is 3. Now, let us check where x is 2 and y is 3. And y is 3. Let us check. We have, we have 5x plus 2y equals to 17. Where we have 5x equals to 17 minus 2y. And where we have our x to be 17 minus 2y over 5. We have our x to be that. And then our y will be 2y equals to 17 minus 5x, where our y will be 17 minus 5x over 2. But basically, we don't know where our x is or where our y is. But now, our x is 2 and our y is 3. How do we get that? Well, we have 5x plus 2y less than 17. If our x is 2 and our y is 3, we have it to be 5 into bracket 2 plus 2 into bracket 3 less than 17. This is 10 plus 6. And this is 16 less than 17. So automatically our x is 2 and our y is 3, which makes our 5x plus 2y less than 17. But now, it is important to know that x equals to 2 and y equals to 3 is not our only solution. So, we need to figure out how many solutions are there. And as a matter of fact, there are infinitely many solutions. There are a lot of solutions to 5x plus 2y less than 17. Now, if the pairs of numbers x and y is the solution, then think of this pair as a point in the plane. So the set of all solutions can be thought as a region in the xy plane. Now, to illustrate how to determine this region, we need to first express y in terms of x in this inequality. We need to express y in terms of x. Now, expressing y in terms of x, we have 5x plus 2y less than equals to 17. We have 2y to be minus 5x plus 17. Where it can also be written as 17 minus 5x. Now, we have our y to be minus 5x plus 17 over 2. Now, we need to understand something that when x is 0, what is y? Now, when x is 0, what are we to do? Now, we have y to now be minus 5 into bracket 0 plus 17 over 2. So we have this to be y less than 17 over 2. We have y 
to be a 1 over 2, where y can be 8.5. So we have our y to be 8.5. Now, when y is 0, when our y is 0, when y is 0, what is our x? When y is 0, what is our x? So we have 5x plus 2y less than 17. We have 5x plus 2 into bracket 0 less than 17. So we have 5x plus 0 less than 17. Okay, we can easily write it as this. Where we have 5x plus 2y less than 17. So we have, we have when y is 0. So we make 5x minus 2y plus 17. We have 5x to be minus 2y plus 17. We have our x to be minus 2y plus 17 over 5. So we have x to be this is 0, we have 17 over 5, where we have our x to be 3, 2 over 5, where we have our x to be 3.4. So, our y is 8.5, when x is 0, and when y is 0, our x is 3.4. Four. So this is also one of the solu solution set that we have. Where we have gotten x is 2 and y is 3. We've gotten x is 3.4 and y is 8.5. Now, we are to show this in a graph. We are to show this in a graph. Where we have 0 here. We have our x, this is our y plane, and this is our x. So when y is 0, our x is 3.4. Okay, let's just make 3.4 to be around here. And where our x is 0, our y is 8.5. You can just make 8.5 to be around this thing. Obviously, it is greater than that. So we just pick a line here. Now, where we have this, where we have this, then we shade the other part. So we can just shade this side. So we can shade this part. So when we shade this part, it shows that this shaded part is our solution set. This shaded region is our solution set. Now, moving to the next example, we have determined the solution set of 2x plus y less than 3. We have 2x plus y less than 3. So, where x is 0 and y is 0. But basically, you have to find where x is less than 3. We can just make where x is 1 and y is 0. So where x is 1, we have 2 into bracket 1 plus 0 less than 3. So we can have it to be 2 plus 0 less than 3. We have 2 less than 3, which is indeed correct. Where x is 1 and y is 0. Now, that is not the only solution to this equation. Now, we need to look for where x is 0 and y is 0. 
where we have two x plus y less than three. If our x is zero, we have it to be two into bracket zero plus y less than three. We have y less than three. So we have our y to be three. Now for our x. Where we have our x, y to be 0. So we have 2x, 3. So we have our x to be 3 over 2. And our x is 1.5. So basically here, yeah, we also draw our graph to find the shaded region. We draw our graph to find the shaded region. So we have it to be something like this. So, where y is 0, we have our x to be 1.5. And where our x is 0, we have our y to be 3. So, the shaded part here, where we have 2x plus y less than 3, is our solution set. That is our solution set. The shaded part is our solution set. And this brings us to the end of our class on solution sets of inequalities of two variables. And I'll be seeing you in our next class. Thank you. <music>